You know, we were in the wrong century for shale gas. The world has moved on, principally because of climate change, and we cannot have, we cannot be exploring uh, for more sort of fossil fuels and looking for more of it even when the International Energy Authority has said very clearly, leave three quarters of the stuff in the ground. Um, but equally, in a, in a century when renewables are coming on stream, are getting cheaper every year, are getting more reliable, and there's new technologies being invented to, to deal with uh, the variability in renewables and so on, and demand side response and all these kind of things, that surely is the future, rather than harping back to the old models of last century and fossil fueled economy of last century. And I genuinely believe, you know, uh, I have all kinds of environmental reasons why I think shale gas is a bad bet. I genuinely believe in trying to take us down this line, they're making, this government is making a catastrophic error for the future prosperity of the United Kingdom. They're betting that banking on the wrong horse, it's not going to deliver. It's a real problem. I think the same is true actually for the government's kind of love of nuclear power. And I really welcome the fact that just today the, the Financial Times has come out really questioning Hinckley. I mean, again, Hinckley is a massive white elephant. It's the wrong technology in the wrong time, in the wrong place, for the wrong price. And, and yet again, you know, for, for a government, for a conservative government that would love to kind of say those old models of picking particular technologies like the advanced passenger train was the wrong approach, how can they justify Hinckley? You know, there's nothing free market about the, 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 what, what the government is doing here with Hinkley, tying consumers in to paying twice the wholesale price of electricity for the next 35 years. There was all